What's going on everybody? Jim from Grassroots Piano and I'm smiling at the camera, but deep down inside, I might go crazy because I've tried this video multiple times. Not that you need to know, but my computer has been crashing over and over and over again. So you're gonna see me try to do this video lesson and I'm gonna look at my computer and I might take this nice microphone and chuck it anyway. That's how it's gonna be in this lesson. I'm gonna use humor, because if I don't, I don't know what's gonna work. Anyway, welcome, Jim from Grassroots Piano, where I'm motivating learners to embrace technology, no, but to play the piano, and that's right, 24 patterns. And this is a bit of a review for my last lessons, but I went back to the drawing board, and I said, you know, Jim, you could do this better. Hold on. And you could do this better, and make sure that everything is working, and line up the rhythms, and that's why we have 24. So before you say, you know, Jim, the patterns really aren't that different. This is a video for beginners. And I have noticed something as a content creator, when we go and click on lessons for beginners, it's fancy, it's too hard. And us teachers don't need to be flashy. We need to encourage and motivate to get you guys, girls, people playing. Here we go, right hand. Four, four time, that's the hand position. We've been going over this. I also have PDFs available, helps the channel out for those readers. A minor, I created it so I know what I'm doing. And computer check. All right, I might've figured this out. We're gonna add in some drums too. Pattern one through five, it is exactly that. They're easy, they're warm ups, and these rhythm patterns, also known as accompaniment, a comp accompaniment. I like that word. Basically, we are creating sound and backup. In this case, we're singing and everyone should get into singing. Not that you have to sound perfect, but it's so good for your ear. Ba -da -ba -ta -ta. Computer maintenance. Things are breaking down and you might have clicked off this video. So in the past, we just talked about singing the bass notes. That's something you can do really good, really beneficial. And I'm also gonna talk about just melody creating and acting like a new learner that hasn't been singing before. And if you notice, when I'm playing, I am not staring at my hands. I look at the music a little bit because it's been a busy day. Please don't break because you need that sense. You need to be so comfortable that you don't have to think about it. Like we're walking, we're not thinking about it because when we add in vocals, vocals, right hand, left hand, and sometimes pedal, that's four. Count them, four different things going on. Pattern two, half notes in the right hand, easy. I have a PDF by the way, right? Oh, we went over that. I have this computer, I swear. Ugh, don't crash. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and talk about simple singing. And I'm gonna have some drums come in. I'm gonna play to the drums, and I'm gonna pretend that I'm a student and I'm not that confident with singing, but we need to get some sound. So here we go with the drums, and we're gonna go and do the roots. One, two, three, and with the left da, da, left hand, da, 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 da. Right hand half notes. Listen to your sound, even sound. Get that. Ba da 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 ba da da ba 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 ba. It goes simpler. Ba 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 da. That was a good example. Really simple, repeat it, and then the third bar, a little difference. And if that's tricky for you, and then even go simpler, let's go to pattern three, which is a quarter note. And before we sing, let's talk about the sound. We're gonna make it drive and no pedal. We're gonna try short and detached first. Two, three, four. I'm just happy the computer hasn't crashed. Some learners will do this. 
da, da, and they get thrown off because our brain needs to get this down first and then start singing. What we're gonna do is same thing, but now legato, singing, but no pedal. Two, three, four, and. Ba, 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 ba. So right away, once we start singing flat, is which I did, your confidence will go down. But when you're at home singing, you know, it's all good. This is how we get better. And when you, we sing flat, our confidence goes down. So find a note or two, and if you like it, go for it. Jim, how do I know if I'm singing in tune? Well, a few things. One, your family will probably not tell you to stop. I'm kidding. Computer jerk. All right. One of them is record yourself and listen. Another one is think of a very simple melody, you sing it, record, and then hear the pro version. All right, so now I'm gonna demonstrate pattern three with a little more confidence, but simple. Just basic root notes or something that sounds good, and then just repeat that. Keep it simple. We're trying to get confidence. Two, three, four. Ba, ta, 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 ba, ta, ta. I said simple. Ba 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 ha da da. And once you get this down, notice I'm opening up my mouth. I'm breathing. That's part of the confidence. Pattern four. We have left hand half notes. Pretty simple. Check it out. Two, three, four, and. Ba da ba ba. You'll want to sing right away once you get this down. that left hand. I might, I don't want to buy a new computer. I'm not doing it. There we go. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. So don't forget, if you're doing something and you feel like it's grooving, repeat on it, have fun. And it's also a natural release of dopamine. So before we go to pattern six, let's talk about what we're doing. One, get these patterns down where you can just stare at someone and randomly talk. So fun story, not that you asked, but here I go. I had a drum lesson years ago when I was in college and I'm doing four different things. So I used to play drum set. And then the instructor had me read the newspaper. Yes, newspaper. And we had to say it in a very organic way. What it did is it forced our brain out of the comfort zone. So this became really natural. All right, pattern six, I'm gonna go slow. No more drums. Pattern six complements what's happening on pattern seven. Right hand, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, sorry, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now play with the drums. One, two, three, and, and. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, and three, four. One, two. Little build up complements the phrasing. Um, if you're still with me, hope you are, because the patterns are going to get beefier and more enjoyable. Can you hit the like button? I have some videos that have maybe a thousand plus and maybe 48 thumbs, so maybe it's a bot, I don't know. AI is a big thing, but feel free to hit the thumbs up on. Pattern seven, really popular rhythm in the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, slowing it down. Two, three, four, and one, two, and this tempo, play with them if you like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now pattern six, very similar, right? Two, 
Make sure you understand six and seven are very similar. I'm breaking off that accent on pattern six. And that's one thing I've noticed too as a teacher. We feel like if we're done with pattern one, we never touch it again. No, it's called music. We want to make things beautiful and we want to go back and enjoy the simplicity. It's not always just getting harder and harder and harder. It's sound, it's music, it's art. Embrace it. So pattern eight, guess what? Pattern eight is like seven, but we do a little flip flop. Computer check. This is a miracle. All right, so pattern eight, we have the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. When you get these down, you can apply the singing ideas I talked about earlier. One, two, three, I'll add a little pedal in, bum, two, and three. Some students would mimic the bass with their singing. Da, 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 bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba. What I was just saying before, mix things up. Try to groove on pattern seven and then pattern eight. That's a quick tip. Pattern nine, similar to pattern eight, but now we're moving the left hand a little bit. So we go C, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, four, and two. Little tricky, moving the hands around a little bit. So I'll go slower. One, two, three, four, and one, Sometimes in music land, we just have to grin and bear it. And it's a little awkward, especially if we've just done the five finger position. So I know I'm pushing the beginner envelope a little bit. You can always come back to it. Here we go. Pattern 10 is what I call a prep rhythm. PDFs for sale, just a little hint. Maybe it's a good thing my computer might break because who knows if I'll even publish this, you know? Uh, or maybe I'll use part of it. Yeah! Pattern 10 uh, is prep work for the real pattern, which is 11, but we're doing, we are back in C, by the way, and we're taking that middle note well, out. No, no, we're going one, two, three, four, and one, two. So do you see what my hands did, beginners? We got one, two, the next bar, watch what I do, and G and D, and then B, and then A and E. It's beautiful. Four and one, two and, oh, I have a typo, but I didn't do it because I caught it. <laughs> three and four and, so I'm kind of proofing this. Three, four, A and E, two and three, four. I teach so much, I'm sorry, I count so much. And that's my typo. I'm gonna fix that for later. You know I'm serious, I've always had a pencil at the keyboard here. All right, pattern 11, we're gonna go into the same um, idea, but now eighth notes, one. Doesn't mean it has to be faster. You can slow down the beat. Did you hit the like button? Did I buy a new computer? Next time around, we will add in the left hand. And I also have patterns later in a different key, which we're getting to very soon. How are we doing in this video? Am I too boring? Let's try it a little faster. Three, four, and one. A little faster, Jim. It's been a long day. Things are going crazy. Crazy. And this kind of piano playing, you definitely want to let loose and have fun with it, get the skills down, and go for the singing. And I can get more structure oriented with ear training. Uh, sometimes that's a quick scroll. People don't want to get into that, but maybe I will. Here we go, pattern 12. What key are we in? The first person that puts it in the comments, you get a new piano. All right, so we are in the key of G. We have one sharp, F sharp, and I'm gonna be using this pattern, which I've done in the videos. 
and then here, so it's a higher key. I'm gonna add lyrics to this, and don't worry, it's not gonna be fancy. <laughs> I really wonder what I'm, this humor, it's either gonna help my channel or, <clears throat> but anyway. So let's see, one, two, three, four, and. You gotta have fun on live, right? And one, two, three, four, and. The sun is here to stay today. Cheesy lyrics, I know. It's been sunny here. All right, so I'm adding some words because it shapes things and a lot of uh, newer singers, they can really follow and hear things better with words because most of us, all of us, have been saying words before singing, I assume. So we have, um, let's see what I was doing. The sun is here. So that I'm just kind of jamming, going for it, and adding little lyrics. And then I got a little vocal, little head voice switch, and... But you can go back to... I'm not very good at singing, but I'm making sound. That is really important. You know how many times when someone wants to sing any age, and we're just gonna shut down. It's like, cause it's such a beautiful thing, our own voice, our own nature, our own instrument. And when it's not sounding good, it's a direct hit. Um, but it's about getting uncomfortable. And what I'm gonna do after this video is get into like a, a tune, a melody, sing through it, talk about what you can do in just one or two chords. But not to waste anyone's time. Pattern 13 might be a little jumpy. Right hand is the same, but the left hand, Octave time. Change it up a little, a little anchorage. Most of us have 88 keys, so we should use at least a quarter of them. Computer is still working, and I'm halfway done. The longest rhythm pattern video on the internet. For beginners though, two, three, four. Pattern 14, a lot of fun here. We're gonna just do two, three, and four, and two, three, four, and then E, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one, two. This would be a good one to sing, like long tones, and four, and one, and. So I'm gonna practice it again though. One, and two, three, and one, two, three, and four, and three. One, two, three, and four. So that would be a good one where you're getting rhythmic and then you're going to sing a nice legato line over it. Pattern 15, it's a bit of a game change. I'm going to practice. We have the left hand where it changes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's okay. It might be tricky for some of you because we are moving around. So I'm going to go slow, both hands. Here we go. Enjoy my dog's barking because I'm not stopping because the computer's still running. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Three, four. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. He's barking, barking, doing his job. Facebook group and I was telling them I need a break because I'm going a little crazy and I think this video is proving it. No, I'm having fun, uh, me and the camera here. So pattern 16, uh, review. So in this case would be to practice without the pedal at first and then try to sing a little bit. Pattern 16, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. 
three and four and one. Did you hear my phrasing? Three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three and four and ba da ba da ba 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 and one, two, three, four and one. I'll do it again because I kind of sucked. And four and ba 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 ba. Trying at least three, four, and I mean much better, but it's been a crazy day. I'm gonna do it again. So one of the things I want to talk about when I'm practicing, I definitely try to end with something I know to feel good about myself. So here I am, just going for it, having a stressful day, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, how many subs am I gonna lose? It's a, um, mm, mm, all right, I got something. Uh, uh, So what I did is I simplified and I also just jammed a little bit. For those who want more structure, I'm gonna get there, but it's about building confidence and having fun. And ironically, with my humor and stress, it's kind of a good attitude to have kind of playing this stuff. You gotta let your soul free when you're creating this. Pattern 17, eighth notes, slowly. Really good workout for our pinkies. We're doing the same thing with the chords, but we're just playing the outer notes. E minor. I guess my dog likes my piano playing now because Pepper's not barking. Three and bass and four. Four and, mm, mm. Four and, and by the way, you notice one of the exercises I'm playing, I'm getting faster. You can do that as long as you're aware of it and then you have to hold the beat where you want it to be so we don't have wavering sense of time. That's why we use metronomes or the drum track earlier. Well, I think I figured out my computer problem because it's not crashing now. Less is more. All right, 17 a little faster. And four and one, two, three. Oh, and listen to your sound. Let's build a little phrasing in there. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. Okay, 18 is a fun one. It's a little anticipation with the left hand. So we play the one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So that four and is setting us up for the next chord. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Both hands. We'll slowly. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and two, three, and four, and I have to make a note for myself to fix this later. All right, and pattern 19, we have quarter notes. And the left hand is one, and on the end of three, sounds like this. One, two, three, four, and. So, Jim. Why all these patterns? Well, piano world requires coordination. The more options you give yourself challenging your brain with coordination, the fluent you become and the more naturally you become. There isn't, there's a reason why I was singing and playing a lot in the beginning because those are really easy and that's how you want to start off when you're singing. A really hard accompaniment part is great if that's all you're gonna do, but you need to sing or do something, that's why it's accompaniment. We talked about that. So pattern 19, again, a little faster. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and guess what I'm doing at 20? This is 20 now. One, two, three, yep, octave split. Two, three, four, and. Two, three, and four, and slower. Two, 
be kind to the beginners. Beginners are awesome. Two, three, four, and two, three, four, and two. We're almost there. All right, so because I'm a teacher, we're doing a sim similar thing that we did earlier, but it's a new key. It's this pattern again, but in the key of G. And the benefit to go slow is to get the right fingering. Now I'm gonna go through this again. D and B, and then G, that's the third finger. And then D and A, and then third finger on F sharp. Third bar, notice how my hand moved. I will definitely timestamp this video. Ignore the crazy guy. All right, pattern 22, nothing big, eighth notes. We're gonna go slow though. One and two and three and four and one and two, three, four and one, two, three, four and C, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, sorry about that, four, and one, two, three, and four, and. All right, let's go to pattern 23, and basically very similar to 22, that's my teaching style. We're just gonna add in octaves with the left hand, so I'm gonna demonstrate that, and then both hands, but of course I'll go slow with both hands. One, two, three, four, and one, two, Three and four. Two, three, four. One, two, three. And both hands, just like 22. Three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. All right, we made it to exercise 24. If you're still with me, great. Because in my little head here, little. I'm thinking about a quick little bonus thing after this, if you're still with me. So the left hand has an anticipation like one of the exercises we did ago. I don't know if I can find this pile of mess, but uh, we have the right hand rather go one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do that with the left hand, kind of a bass pattern. We're gonna approach the notes as close as we can to the next root note. So it sounds like this, one, two, three, four. So I went to that E, because E is very close to D, and then just D, E, because that's third bar, E minor. It'll make sense as I demonstrate everything. Last bar, E. And then I'm throwing in an F sharp, half step, one. The rhythm's gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Watch me. One, two, three, four. Two, three, pretty easy. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and that's the bonus. Octave time. Three, four, and if you can't do it, it's all right. Four, you will be able to do it someday. Three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and all right, thank you for joining me. Hopefully these patterns will help out. They're timestamps, so you can always come back to it. I wanted to do a mega load, but I also wanted to reach out and let people know that I'm very thankful for many of you. It's, we've become great friends and it keeps me going and I'm glad you're enjoying my content and I'm glad just that you're here with me on this journey. So until next time, please take care. YouTube is now suggesting this playlist similar to the content I'm doing. So dive into that if you like, but as always communicate, reach out if you have questions or thoughts, comments, requests. Okay, bye-bye.